The Social Security Administration has recently made a stunning announcement that will have far-reaching consequences for millions of people. Pay attention, low-income families, seniors, and people with disabilities starting next week, this news might put thousands of extra dollars in your pockets. And now for the exciting part. Money could be going down the drain if you are unaware of these developments. I will explain the changes and who they impact in the next few minutes, so be sure to stay tuned, while also ensuring that you do not forego benefits that are rightfully yours. This update from the government is not like any other. For many Americans, this might be the deciding factor between a life of struggle and one of security. It is a game changer. When will you find out if you're going to receive a windfall? Shall we begin? For the most recent information on Social Security and stimulus payments, including those for SSIS, DI, and VIA recipients, as well as other American seniors, you can rely on fact file check. I trust that every one of you are doing fine. Then let's go right in. First, let's lay the groundwork for these massive changes before we get into the details. This is a very chaotic time for all of humanity. Its concerns about the state of the economy are at an all-time high as we approach a presidential election that is sure to be contentious. A lot of people are understandably anxious about their financial stability. However, there is a ray of optimism in the distance, even though everything is uncertain. A shocking revelation has just come out of the Social Security Administration, and it will change the way Americans get social assistance. This is huge news for low-income Americans and retirees, I can assure you, viewers. You might be thinking, great, another change to a government program, and I get that. In what ways will this influence me? Continue with me, though. Whether you or someone you care about is currently receiving benefits, knows someone who is or could require them in the future. These changes could significantly affect your life or their lives. It is important that we have a shared understanding of what SSI is before we go into the modifications. The Supplemental Security Income Program, whose acronym is SSI, has been in existence since the 1970s. In no way should you mistake this for the standard retirement benefits offered by Social Security. SSI is an entirely new beast. Many people who receive SSI see it. It's more than simply a handout, it's a lifeline. The difference between being homeless and having a place to sleep or between being well-nourished and going hungry, is what we're referring to here. Now that we've covered the groundwork, it's time to get into the meat of the story. Martin O'Malley, Commissioner of Social Security, made a shocking revelation on September 30th. O'Malley unveiled a slew of significant reforms to the Supplemental Security Income SSI program in a news release that rocked the social welfare industry. This is vital, so listen carefully to what he said. The SSI benefits are vital, and these reforms will make them available too more people. By streamlining our procedures, we are improving the efficiency of SSI, making it easier for people to apply and relieving pressure on government employees and the general public. Now, I don't know about you, but I get very attentive whenever a public servant begins to speak about streamlining processes and eliminating obstacles. For the simple reason that interacting with government programs is frequently like trying to navigate a maze while blindfolded and juggling torches on fire. So I'm all for efforts to streamline processes. The bright side is that, for the sake of these computations, food is no longer an option. People who depend on informal support networks to get by will find this adjustment to be a huge boon. There should be no penalties for community. Support, rather, it should be promoted. National program to help pay rent finally, rental subsidies are about to undergo a major overhaul. In the past, seven states had a regulation that prevented rental assistance from reducing benefits for those who paid a minimum amount toward their rent. We are now protecting our nation on a national scale. Everyone receiving Supplemental Security Income SSI who resides in subsidized housing or receives rent assistance should take note of this. The fact that they won't face any consequences for seeking such help can have a profound impact on their capacity to maintain housing. What does this imply in terms of actual hard currency? I know you're all asking. Keep your hats on because those figures are mind-blowing. Over 90,000 individuals might get a $131 rise to their SSI payments each month, according to SSA projections. An additional 41,000 individuals might get a monthly raise of almost $132. The expansion of SSI eligibility could mean that thousands more people who weren't qualified before can get benefits. I get that for some of you, $131 or $132 monthly might not seem like much. That additional cash, though, can transform the lives of many who are already trying to make ends meet on a fixed income. Affording prescription drugs, not juggling utility bills and food shopping, and perhaps even saving up for a little treat like a movie rental or magazine subscription are all examples of what we mean when we talk about financial independence. 
Keep in mind that these are increases that occur on a monthly basis. We are talking about an additional $1,500 to $16 per year. That is important, everyone. Improving the social safety net isn't merely a moral imperative in this setting. The foundation of our community depends on it. The government has acknowledged the need to do more to assist our most disadvantaged individuals, and these reforms to SSI reflect that. This is about more than simply the money. A philosophical shift is also indicated by these developments. Making it easier for people to access the aid they need, the Social Security Administration is streamlining rules and removing barriers. This is of the utmost importance since. Bureaucratic red tape and convoluted regulations frequently block individuals from receiving aid, despite their eligibility. I am not fulfilling my professional responsibility if I do not now discuss some of the possible objections and difficulties that may arise as a result of these modifications. Simply said, there will always be some who oppose a shift in policy. Taxpayers' money can be one of the possible points of contention. There is a cost associated with increasing funding for each government program. Some may say that the extra cost to taxpayers is too high and that these changes shouldn't be implemented. Concerns about fraud. Concerns. Regarding a rise in fraud are ever-present whenever benefits are broadened. Some could say that if the regulations are made more complicated, it will be easier for people to cheat. The deterrent effect on work. Does increasing access to social benefits make people less likely to look for work? This is a topic of heated controversy. Some may worry that individuals will become even more dependent on government aid as a result of these changes. There is no such thing as a smooth sailing implementation when it comes to modifications to complicated government programs. Problems may arise during the implementation of these new regulations. All of these issues are worth discussing carefully since they are legitimate. Nevertheless, we must carefully consider the possible downsides in light of the tangible advantages that these modifications will offer to our most vulnerable individuals. Get the word out. Everyone you know should watch this video and then share it on social media. Increasing awareness of these improvements will allow more people to take advantage of them. Be up to date. We still have so much to learn about these intricate topics. For analysis and updates on these changes as they're implemented, be sure to keep an eye on credible news sources. The significant changes to the Supplemental Security Income Program have been thoroughly explained. Millions of Americans will feel. The effects of these changes, which mark a major paradigm shift in our nation's approach to social assistance. Keeping informed, actively participating, and supporting our communities are more vital than ever as we face these changes and the unpredictable economic times that lie ahead. One measure of a society is the care it shows to its most defenseless members. A more caring and accommodating social safety net is the goal of these SSI reforms.